Let's review halogen addition reactions of alkenes. So first let's recap a few things we know about the reaction. Number one, in this example we'll form a cyclic bromonium intermediate. Of course a chloronium would also be possible if we were using chlorine instead of bromine addition. Cyclic bromonium, this is an anti-addition We will also get a Markovnikov addition of the nucleophile, and we will, which means attacking the more substituted carbon um, when the nucleophile adds in the second step of the mechanism. And also, we know that we only need. to get or predict, only need to predict one stereoisomer to get the other. So we don't have to go through the whole process uh, both times. So let's just go ahead and do the mechanism because that dictates the stereochemistry of the reaction. So what I'm going to do is I'm never going to rearrange my carbon skeleton from how it's drawn for me and I'm going to add the hydrogen in for clarity. I'm just going to pick that the bromonium forms on top. As we showed, all we need to do is get to one of the products and we can get the other if chiral centers are formed. So for step one of the mechanism, I'm going to show the bromonium formation invoking a lone pair on the bromine. We're going to attack the carbon of the double bond. The double bond will then grab the bromine and will eliminate a bromide from the bromine molecule and will form our cyclic bromonium. And for the sake of simplicity, we'll just say that it adds to the top as we are looking at the um, carbon skeleton because we know that if we can at least predict one, then we can predict the other. And so I'm going to, in the second step of the mechanism, I'm going to attack the more substituted carbon with the bromide that I just formed. It's an anti-addition, so it attacks on the back side, kicks up the bromine to the other carbon, and I get as we've drawn it this structure. And again, I'm not moving anything relative to my view to make things easier on us for visualization. And so here this isn't a true um, perspective diagram because the way I've drawn it, I'm looking flat down over the carbon skeleton and technically I can pick either one of these to come forward as long as I keep everything in the same um, orientation relative to one another. So I'm going to pick the methyl group to have the wedge and I'm going to pick the hydrogen on the other side to have the dash. And so at this point I have one of my products. I can rewrite it if I want to in a more common method where I keep the parent chain in the plane, six carbons, and then if you see here down, up, down, down, up, down, this stays the same but I've got to rotate the other around to be the up position and when I do that it's going to put the bromine to the back and the hydrogen to the front which is not drawn in a skeletal structure. And so then I know that to get the other compound that's formed, since I formed two chiral centers, one here and one here, I must flip both chiral centers to get the other product
of the reaction. This product would have originated from the cyclic bromonium forming on the bottom of the original alkene.